I'm going to speed you guys up through this flooding of the canvas. I am using the glue water pour medium for this. Um, I still have it. I have it left over. It's mixed. So both my flood is that as well as the colors that I'm putting on my canvas. I am doing a wandering, wandering straight pour. Hope you enjoy it. As you can see, I'm using a measuring cup to layer my paints in. This is an eight by eight canvas, which means I need just a little less than two and a half ounces of paint to cover the canvas. So here we go. Okay, so that is not quite two ounces, and so that would not be enough. I don't know if you guys can see how that's layered in there. Oop, there we go. Um, it's not quite two ounces, which means it's not actually quite enough to cover the canvas, except that we've got on the white on there. So I'm going to add um, a, a brown and a yellow to it. And this is a burnt umber. And the other one is cadmium yellow, just to give it some extra oomph. I think I'm gonna do the yellow first. There's not a whole lot in there, but there's a little bit. We're gonna add it in. Come on. Okay. And then the burnt umber. Really? Ah, sorry. I'm such a mess. Should take almost two and a half ounces. And I think I'm right now right at about two ounces. But I've also got all the weight on the canvas. So we might wind up with a little negative space, and that's okay. So, can you guys see how pretty that is? Oh, that's so pretty. All right. All right, Lynn. A straight pour where I just hold it and let it pour. A wandering straight pour, or do we do a ring pour? What do you want? Do a wandering straight pour, but like a super water, like a, like over the center. Try to, okay, so we're gonna start over here. And just do. this. So it's going to wander. All around. All around. Do -do -do -do. Come back up in here. We're going to cut across over there. So this is definitively a very wandering straight pour. We shall see how this turns out. Do 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 do. There may wind up being a lot of negative space throughout. Okay. The goal is this for this to not become a big muddy mess. I don't know if you guys like it, if the light is getting it just right so you guys can see how pretty it is. But I don't know. Alright. That's really pretty. Okay. 
It's tilting time. Let's see. We have the least amount of paint that way. So we're going to go kind of that way first towards that corner over there. Now we'll pour it out. Okay. Tilt it out. Let's come back this way. Off that corner. Oops. Turn it this way and come off this edge over here. What do you think? I think it looks really cool. I think it looks really cool. It looks like... And my hands look really cool too, yay! Malachi was like a really wrong or something. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the thing we never forget to do is to scrape the drips off of the edges so that it doesn't pull our composition off the mm -hmm. Oh, and I didn't torch for bubbles, so we do need to make sure I'm not leaving it with bubbles in there. So I am going to torch it, and then I'll probably scrape the edges one more time. It's really pretty. Us Irish girls, we like our greens. All those earth tones, they're just gorgeous. Okay. Seeing a dimple, I could be wrong. Okay, right there. Let's see. Right here. Yep. Is that little that black thing. spot right there? You think is a thingy in the jigger that I need to pull out? No. Nope. That or a bubble? Nope. It's not. It's, it's just paint. All right. It's just a it's spot dimple. of paint. Okay. I don't know. That looks like maybe I pulled something out of it. No, not now. So what we'll do with that? This little dot right there and pull it around and blend it. Nope, there is a something there, isn't there? It does not. Anyway, try to blend that in just a little bit. That works. Okay. It's gone. Okay. some of these effects in here with the little thing it's such it's like a topographical map it's awesome and if I get you just at the right angle you can see the shimmer maybe if I get you just at the right angle mm. hold on let's turn off the over light I'll turn that off and see if my that in there so if I tilt this at an angle I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer there we go there you go you can see from the bronze and we have that um, metallic green in there do you see that it's got some pretty pretty colors I love it 
Alrighty, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for joining me on this artistic journey of discovery or journey of artistic discovery. I can't talk right these days. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you again next time.